Hello, welcome. My name is San. This is a reading today for Pisces. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when they find you, if they resonate, then they're yours at that time. Pisces, I'm doing your reading today with my triple stack of Colette Baron Reed decks all blended into one ginormous stack of cards. So you'll see a mix of all three in your spread today. So you've got um, Will of the Wisp, Treasures, Treasures Hidden in the Shadows. This was in the collective reading, I think, right? It was in one of the collective readings. Today it's actually coming through as you, Pisces, that that you're a treasure hidden in the shadows. Okay, and then skywriting, skywriting the fates. It's interesting because I usually want to, uh, you know, kind of separate the the words on the on the card is like skywriting, pause or comma the fates, but it's actually coming through for you today as skywriting the fates. So that's fascinating because okay, there's something going on here with this. When I see the these symbols here in the in the sky, I guess I kind of see the word myth in there. There's something going on in your reading today where you seem to be kind of struggling with. Um, perhaps some information that you're pulling in or some inspiration that you're receiving that you're maybe questioning whether it's true or not because it's, it feels like it could be mythical in some way. It's like, it, and what I, it, is what I'm perceiving true or a myth? But then there's maybe also this aspect of sky riding the fates. It's almost like you're being um, really asked to step up and take on a, an incredible challenge. It's something that you maybe perceive that you're not the right person for perhaps it's like am i really the one who's meant to sky write the fates do you see what i'm saying it's like that sounds like a really big job is it really meant for me something like that and the answer is yes because you are the treasure hidden in the shadows okay okay overall energy from the creativity oracle So that could be kind of clarifying what exactly is going on here. What's already on the table is that something is kind of putting you on edge or making you a little bit uncomfortable. You're basically saying no thank you to it because maybe because it just feels, maybe it's just beyond what you've done before or like I said, you're feeling not up to the task, something like that. Wounds. Well, there you go. Okay, so it says wounds. So it's saying that withheld support from the past can cause low self-esteem that cripples your action. So that could be what's going on here. Something, something that's happened in the past has kind of almost like fatally wounded your confidence perhaps. Maybe only specifically in this regard, right? So it's almost like it's flaring up now or being activated by this, by whatever this is. It's not like, it's not like you're walking around wounded or, or inactive or immobile. It's that this specific thing is kind of stopping you in your, in your tracks. And because of that, and because of the way it's showing itself on the table here, it's almost like this could be, you know, one of those, Themes that kind of follows you through lifetimes or it's like it's it's the big focus of this lifetime because it was it could like a wounding from a past life and then it says accomplishments underneath it so that's really fascinating okay look at these two cards look at these two cards right look at this guy he's kind of he's depleted right he's upset there's this massive star in the sky the energy is is foreboding in a sense but it says accomplishment Remember past accomplishments as a way to overcome present doubt. But I feel like what this is talking about is that maybe you didn't accomplish it last time. Do you see what I mean? And so you, you don't believe that you can do it. This is, like I said, it could be something from other lifetimes. It could be this undercurrent that hasn't been pulled fully into your consciousness. But it's also... Uh, especially with what's on the table here, and I'm going to get to in a second with this star in the sky and this kind of foreboding energy and the, and this fact that this coyote is coming up for you today. Um, it's almost talking, it's kind of like this, 
Cassandra type of energy. If you know the story of Cassandra or Cassandra, um, kind of like receiving vision or prophecy about the future, but it might not be a pleasant, it might not be good news. And so there's a reluctancy to deliver that news or to communicate what you know because it's unpleasant and or because you, it's, you're never believed. So you've stopped delivering the prophecy because nobody ever believes you. It could be some, it's all the kind of tied up in that. See what I mean? But this one is definitely like past life energy, right? Okay. And then the innovation card is underneath that. So it's <laughs> with that cat sun again. Okay. Pisces. There's big stuff going on in your reading today. It's basically like you've been through this before. This has been coming up in the readings about how like a, like a missed opportunity that came around once before that like it's like ev all the elements were presented but it didn't quite line up in the way that it was meant to or could have and so it never really took off or came to fruition. It's almost like that. It's like that's what's happening here with you know this is something that has kind of cycled through your past and now it's kind of coming back up over the horizon again but the fact that it's an innovation card is talking to me about yeah there's a lot of similar elements but this time it's different it's it's a it's an opportunity to be innovative okay so pisces we're beginning your reading here today with the giveaway card and the giveaway is coming in with the Dragon's Horde, which is really fascinating. This card has been featuring a lot in the readings recently. It says protecting the future. So, but what this is, especially with all these cards that you just got at the beginning here, it was looking to me like you've actually been given, in a sense, the Dragon's Horde, prophecy perhaps, or some kind of um, future potential has been handed to you. Here's the future, Pisces create it it's something like that some sort of creative inspiration or input or or information has come to you and you have rejected it in a sense it looks to me like you are giving away the dragon's horde that has been bestowed to you right it's like it comes in and you're basically saying no thank you because of this card coming up it says dream thief refusal of the call so this is a really complicated energy because the dream thief would be would be something coming in and taking the the dragons the dragons horde from you, but I want to say that that is more tied in with the past perhaps, and it's almost like you are refusing the call maybe on some sort of subconscious level because in the past there may have been an energy attached to it. It may have been taken from you in the past. And that's what's kind of created this failed attempt in the past. When I was saying that all of the elements were present, but it didn't quite lock into place, it's like perhaps there was there was one element that was held back or removed from the scenario that created the misalignment that missed the opportunity and it's almost like you're you're carrying that in yourself as if that was your resp responsibility or your um your fault in some way so it's like this time it's coming in this time as it's coming back around or a similar type of situation is coming one that has the same feel to it comes back around you're saying no thank you because of, oh, it's a big complicated energy. Like I said, you're saying, it, am I really the right one for the job? This is a big task. This is a big task. And there's also all this underlying past complication. The reason why I'm saying all that is because the coyote is coming up next. And I feel like this, you're the coyote today in the sense that well, first of all, you could be feeling like this is some sort of a detour or a trickster energy. But also I'm saying that you're the coyote because the coyote is embodying um, fear or intimate. It, it's an intimidated energy. It's been intimidated by this 
dream thief, right? But in the past, so it's something like, it's this past wounding that is, okay, the current circumstance is, is, has enough resemblance energetically or potentially to a past wounding that when it comes in, even though this guy isn't present, it's just the, it's just the, the, the vision, it's just the prophecy that's coming in. But there's a, there's a part of you kind of like in your cell memory or in your DNA or, you know, you see what I'm saying in the subconscious, there still carries that wound. And so when you see it, there's this automatic knee jerk kind of, it, it, it brings down your confidence. Um, so the three of fire and the eight of fire are coming up next as well. But it's also, it, this, these cards are bringing in the idea that, well, actually it's kind of, it's kind of bringing up this innovation idea because what it's talking about is that where this is leading you, and it could be part of the reason why you are perhaps intimidated by it, is it's leading you into, um, it's kind of in a direction you've never been before. So that's the interesting thing. You're bringing an energy from the past that you have experienced before that you're quite familiar with on some level and you're bringing it into this farther experience this is farther than you've this is farther than you've traveled before the three of fire also brings in kind of unconventionality so that could be tied into it as well the fact that it seems like there's the coyote could be being triggered in you or the wound energy could be triggered in you because of kind of all of these things combined, all of these elements combined. So we're talking about all of the elements being present, all of the elements combined here to trigger this coyote is, am I up to the task? Is this, uh, I was going to say, is this a, a replay of past wounding? Maybe that's actually a conscious thought of yours, but also it could be the way in which it arrived, the way in which this dragon's horde vision or information or opportunity or whatever this could represent for you, the way that it came to you could be, the discomfort here for you because it's unusual. It's an un unusual way, an unusual way of, of receiving the message. The Eight of Fire talking about a lot of information coming in all at once. So it could be that, or the information itself is kind of, it's it basically it's moving you in, a, in, a, in an unexpected and an unexpected, farther, deeper in direction, if that makes any sense. Because it's like you're being sent deeper into this information. So it could be something like with the Dragon's Horde protecting the future and the sky writing card, it could be that, interestingly, tying into yesterday's reading, that you've kind of just been given a piece or a glimpse enough to know that it's making you uncomfortable for a plethora of reasons. I want to say most of it, it has to do with self-confidence. Am I up to the task? I didn't pull it off in the past. Why, what makes you think I can do it this time? Something like it's all about confidence, perhaps. Um, was I, what was I saying there? Oh, okay. About going deeper into the information that already the piece that you've been given is triggering all this for you. And it's actually requiring you to go deeper into it. And there's, there's a hesitation on your part. Okay, so 
the eagle coming up next and the king of water. This was saying to me that what, whatever is behind this exchange, again, it's coming up with this idea of a, a conversation or an exchange. So you've met with an entity or a consciousness or a messenger energy and a, a message was delivered to you. And there was an expectation on the part of the messenger that it would be well received, right? It's like this eagle coming in to you, this king of water. There was this understanding or expectation that it would be a welcome message or information, right? But what has happened, it seems like, is that you've moved into this standstill energy. It's almost like the baton being passed, expecting or having understanding that it would immediately kind of trigger movement and a deeper exploration of this information or this situation. Again, this, this figure is peeking out again. There's a figure standing at the side of this frame here. And now that I've seen it, I can't not see it. I don't know if it's part of your message today, but it is showing itself. It's only when I hold it up in the camera. When it's on the table, I don't really see it. It almost feels like this eagle energy. It's like there's a, there's a presence that is aware of your indecision or your inactivity there was an expectation that there would be kind of immediate, immediate movement on this. But it's actually caused you kind of to move into this standstill sweat lodge energy. Okay, so there's some really inf interesting stuff coming through here. If you've seen the, if you've seen the, uh, the Netflix show, The OA, amazing show, there's a couple of scenes in it. I'm particularly thinking, I think it's the second episode or the second season where Homer, I guess they're, uh, they're trans-dimensional traveling, these figures, the characters in that show. And he arrives in this other space, this alternate place or dimension, and he swallows a fish but there's all this kind of frantic energy around it. It's like there's a, he's being chased. There's there's running out of time. He's got to he's got to get the thing and carry it in a way that can't be, it can't be, um, it can't be taken from him. Right? That the thief can't get it this time. There's kind of all of that energy coming up a little bit in this card today with the fish. Right? It's like it's gonna swallow the fish. So there's something about the eagle or the messenger has brought you information or vision from elsewhere. It's just a small piece, but it's enough to kind of get this, this train moving in a sense, this energy moving, that's this, to get this train moving. So it's it, in passing the baton, like I was saying, it's almost like the baton's been passed to you and then you're meant to kind of carry it deeper into deeper into the woods or deeper, deeper in maybe to unpack it or to receive more. It's like, are you moving deeper into the information or, or are you meant to carry this message into an environment? So something about all of that stuff. It's so layered and it's almost like on every layer, there's something that could cause discomfort or hesitation on your part. So it's all this like multi-layered hesitation and discomfort. Because you could be having a bit of a hard time identifying why it is that this vision of the future or this seed of creativity that you've been given is causing you to just kind of, it's almost like it, you just wanna shut down. And it could be even just to unpack it but actually what I'm seeing here with the sweat lodge, it's almost like once you've received this, once you've swallowed the fish from the other dimension and it's, it's now within you, 
the sweat lodge energy, it's almost like there's this natural instinct. And I'm wondering, I'm curious why the eagle wouldn't understand this, seeing as the eagle seems to have this expectation that you would just grab the baton and run with it. But it seems like this completely natural instinct that you would kind of swallow the fish, but then ha need time to digest it in a sense. But actually what is happening, especially with the sweat lodge energy, um, this, this kind of desire to slow down or just to sit down um, is because this added element or added new bit of information that you've received is actually kind of pushing out like a purification, like the sweat lodge, um, kind of sweating out or releasing things that don't match it or it's it's kind of like um kind of taking in something that's purifying and so it's throwing out it's throwing off the unpure or like i said the stuff that doesn't is not in the same resonance with it it's like it's it's changed your vibration in some way and so you're kind of expelling in response to this you see what i'm saying it's a purification a cleansing you're in a cleansing phase or a healing phase which is absolutely connected to this wounds energy so it's kind of like there's maybe you're feeling this pressure, like there's this expectation that you're meant to be doing this work or creating this thing. It's kind of like you've been given a task or an assignment. You've been, you've been um, kind of labeled the messenger. You're the messenger now, Pisces. And instead of delivering the message, you're moving into kind of a healing. You're feeling a need to cleanse and heal. And I want to, like I said, that's almost automatic and natural. It's just happening naturally because you've taken on this thing, the kind of side effects in a sense, the side effects of taking this thing on is this cleansing phase. So that's what you're in, right? But what's really beautiful actually is that, well, it's kind of saying take heart Pisces, take heart with the heart home compassion card coming up next, take heart actually that there is well there's kind of a gathering momentum there's a gathering uh heartbeat a raise a rising heartbeat but there's also kind of a gathering collective there's okay i'll just show you the cards so the heart home the gathering around that's why i'm using these words and thunder the thunder card has been representing a new movement in the collective right it's like the herd is suddenly changing course you included. So it's kind of talking about take heart Pisces. You're not alone in this, first of all. So maybe that kind of could take some of the pressure or weight off your shoulders about getting it right or being the one to do, to write the fates or deliver, to deliver the prophecy. There is a gap. There is a collective. There's a collective gathering around this. But there's, it's also talking about that there is also a collective kind of gathering at the sweat lodge in a sense. It's almost like by going into the sweat lodge, by going into this healing moment, there you may be delightfully surprised that there are others gathering in that same space, okay? So it's like you there are there are others is the message. Sorry, I'm just feeling into what else wants to come out about these cards. So it's kind of just wanting to reassure you, despite any, any kind of expectation coming from the eagle energy, that what you are resting in now, the fact that you may just be resting and, and cleansing, is absolutely natural and appropriate. It's almost like you couldn't not... You couldn't not be in those in that space because it's the result of this. It's the result of this conversation 
is the natural byproduct of that is this energy and it's happening to others at the same time but then there's also this beautiful it's raising the heart rate or it's raising the vibration of the collective perhaps so it's almost looking like something like the collective may be kind of moving into this phase of receiving visits from the eagle energy. It's almost like the eagle is the eagle is bringing um, new aspects of the prophecy. This is the protected future. This is the, that's the interesting thing about it. It's like there's something about the future that has been unseen until now. Maybe because of this energy. And the fascinating thing is that there's almost like a blending together of these energies in the psyche, right? So that's why there's, that's why this reaction within you is because when the eagle visits you, it brings with it this kind of memory or ricochet of past times. Like I said, this is an innovative time. This is a new time because there's something that is coming in now it could be that missing element from the, the last time around, right? It's like you're being given that the missing element. So it's not, although there may be a lot of similarities to previous experiences or previous go rounds, this time is different because something protected is now being entered in to the scene. And that's bringing in just this other layer of stuff with this card here with the swallowing the fish again you know well that's the thing it's like there's the, almost this understanding that it's, it's protected that what you're receiving is like protected wisdom or protected knowledge and that you must protect it but it's actually seems to me more like are you are you meant to communicate it that's the question i don't know if that's been revealed yet although there is this sky writing energy. It's almost like the story wants to be told. But I feel like with this energy, it's almost like just keep it for a little bit longer, Pisces. This is this is meant to gestate something like that. It's like it's meant to rest for this time as there's kind of this gathering. There's a gathering energy around it. It's like there's the there's more people joining. There's more people coming into this energy. So it's almost like right now, hold it. It is protected. It is protected within you. I heard this amazing thought the, the other day, and I'm not sure that it's true, but I want it to be true, and I love it. So there is something about... I'm looking at this guy here. I heard somebody say that the, um, the maligned energy, those with bad intentions, a thief energy, something that might want to take from you, anybody residing or embodying that type of energy is not telepathic, is what they said. And they can only gather information once it's been spoken or expressed or played out in some way. As long as you hold it within you, there's no access, right? And that's part of the reason why they're, they need to trigger a reaction from you because they're trying to get you to kind of spill the beans in a sense. So as long as you are just holding it in silence, it is protected. If that's a kind of a layer of this, this unfolding for you, is this kind of feeling like this is, this is protected information or it's protected in some way. And so it shouldn't be just sh flashed. It shouldn't be shown. So anyway, there's this kind of idea of just be in the standstill sweat lodge energy. There's nothing inappropriate about that. Despite what the eagle may, the pressure that the you may feel the eagle, eagle is putting on you, despite that, this feels appropriate to me, the standstill energy, because there is a gathering. There's a gathering. It's like there's more information coming or there's more people coming to, the, the collective is growing or the collective heartbeat is 
raising, something like that. There's energy gathering still. And so it's, it's absolutely appropriate to stay as you are. And it's like, and you, and the, it's almost like, just like this is kind of this automated aspect by receiving the visit from the Eagle, you automatically went into this space. I feel like there's going to be an automatic moving out of it as well, right? So as long as it's feeling good there, that's where you're, that's where you should be. And don't be kind of hard on yourself about it. Okay. So I'm going to continue to pull cards and create an extended. If you're interested in that link is in the description. If not, I will see you next time, Pisces. Thanks. Bye.